Hi everybody, Barefoot Laughs here with a great DIY to help you save some moolah, cash, big bucks. Well, not really big bucks, maybe pennies, but every penny counts nowadays. Anyway, I'd like to thank my subscribers for leaving me comments and letting me know they wanted to learn how to make my foaming froggy hand wash. I actually came up with this idea myself. I designed it on a snowy, boring day. Everybody that goes into my bathroom always comments on it. You guys are gonna love it. So, let's go and make some foaming, froggy hand soap. Here we go! So today, we're gonna make this beautiful foaming hand soap with a little frog in it. Can you see him? He's like so cute. We're going to make that, but I know not everyone is like artsy fartsy. And I'm sure you'd like to know how to make some easy, super duper easy, easy foaming soap. And so I'm gonna show you that first before I show you how to make the frog. Our ingredients and what you're going to need is only really three items. You need the foaming hand soap. All right, I am going to put a link in the description on how to get it at Amazon. It's only, you get four of them for $8.33, I think. Which is really great because you could put one in your bathroom, one in your kitchen, one in the guest room, and then give one away as a gift. Okay, so we got that. We need a cup of distilled water. All right, so next we have Dawn soap. So this is the easy way to do it, and this is what we're gonna do. I'm like at the bottom of this soap, so we are going to use the whole thing. Okay, in my recipe, I use three and a half tablespoons which this is probably really close. I'm gonna remove this. And we're gonna add our water. And make sure, don't use like cold distilled water because then it'll make it all steamy and just, I have room temperature here. And you just pour it and you wanna stop about right there because you need room at the top for the bottle top. Okay, now we're gonna put it in and we're gonna screw it on. And then just gently shake it. Don't shake it, shake it, because then you'll have a ton of bubbles. Hey, you can also get these bottles. If you have some foaming hand soap, hand soap when it's all gone, just refill it with this. So you're saving money there reusing it and then you can take the label off and do crazy stuff if you want. See if it works. Perfect consistency. Okay, let's make Mr. Froggy. And this is what we're going to need. Number one, room temperature, distilled water. One cup. Number two, We need our foaming bottle. Number three, a measuring cup with a spout. And we also need a tablespoon. And we need some seventh generation, the soap, the dish soap, it's called Free and Clear. This is a great one because it's made out of all natural ingredients. There's no chemicals. But if you don't have that and you can't find it, this is my second choice, and it's Dawn Free and Clear. Number one is my seventh generation because it's like the best. Okay, we also need some essential oils. Uh, my favorite is Purification because it's a natural antibacterial oil. And another good choice is lavender. And let me tell you a little bit about um, some essential oils. If you get them on Amazon and they're real cheap, or if you get them at the drugstore and they're very cheap there, 
and it says they're natural, they're not. They only need to have, I think, 20% or lower natural ingredients to put natural on the bottle. I'm telling you what, they're like filled with a lot of crap, all this stuff. So try to get a quality oil. I use Young Living and I'll have a link to these in the descriptions. And you need the little frogs. And I have a link to these guys in the description box too, okay? And you also need some of these little glass beady things, okay? But this is where you can get creative. You could use these, but they're really pretty. They're like seashells. And you can use sea glass. And you can use rocks. The only real rule on the bottom part is don't use like, like fish gravel because that's too tiny and it'll get stuck in the bottom. So you wanna have it big enough where this, when you put this in, it just goes in between them and it won't suck up any stuff. Okay, and you need, oh my gosh, I have a pickle picker, a pickle picker. Do you want one of these? I bet you don't. Pickle picker, okay, you can, I use that, but you can use that knife. Just use like a, a regular butter knife. You also need some washi tape, or is it washi tape? I don't know, washi, washi, who the heck knows? I'm not sure, if you know how to pronounce that, let me know in the comments. I put a link in the description um, for some on Amazon. Look how neat, there's so many different kinds. They have one with metallics in them and glitter. I love washi tape, I love it. The first thing you gotta do is take your bottle. And I decided on the seashell looking kind of things. I haven't tried this before, but I think it'll be cute. So I'm gonna pour those in there. And I am going to make my solution. So all we have to do is take our seventh generation. And I'm gonna take this off. I'm towards the end on this too. I'm running out of everything. Okay, so I'm going to put one Two, three, and a half. You could use four. It depends on how foamy you want your soap. Like you can experiment. I like three and a half. Okay. Next. We want to get our essential oil, and I decided on the purification. So I am going to put five drops. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'm running out. Five, six. Oh, I put way too much. It's okay, though. You can put it. That's up to you also. If you want more antibacterial in there, just add more. And so then all we have to do now is infuse the oil into the dish soap. Okay, just mix it up. And just let it sit there for a minute. Now you can take this and put your frog in now if you want. I changed my mind and I went with a different washi, washi tape and a different frog. So here, I'm gonna put them in with this. It doesn't matter, we're gonna have to change them around anyway. I try to make kind of a flat spot. So he'll sit in there. But okay, doesn't matter, we're gonna move them anyway. So drop them in, and I'm gonna move them over like that. He looks kinda cute. Okay, 
Next, we're gonna take one cup of distilled water, just one cup in room temperature, and I'm gonna pour it in here, and I'm going to stir it. Okay, I think that's about ready. Next, all we have to do, oh, I forgot an important step. All right, let me show you. Before you put your froggy in there, put on the lid to figure out, oh, I put him in backwards where the front is. Yeah, he doesn't look bad, but I usually like him on the left. But so put this on and make sure what side is your front, okay? We're gonna pour this in. And don't forget, you wanna leave room. You have to leave enough room. A lot of times I just wait for the foam to calm down before I put this in. Make it tight. Now I'll wipe it off. I knew that would happen. So now you know why you leave that space. Okay, so next, look, we're almost done. Next, we wanna take our washi tape. Now you can just leave it like that because it looks cute like that. Here, here's one here that I just put the glass beads on the bottom and put some washi tape on the top and didn't put any label and I didn't put a frog in, but that's really pretty too. And next, I changed them to the left. I'm like left-handed, I'm so goofy. Anyway, so next you wanna put the washi tape on. You wanna make sure that this is dry. And you just take your washi tape and you start in the back because you don't want the seam to show. And then all you do is put it on, go around, pull it tight. And cut it. There you go. He looks cute. I made my own labels, and uh, what I do is when I get my labels is before I take the backing off, I put a piece of packing tape on top, the clear part. Then I cut it around the label. Then when I wanna put it on, and it's on there, it's super waterproof. So I'm gonna put it on right there. There's a lot of different labels that you could use. Okay, check them out. He is cute. Okay, let's see how well it works. Wow, see how foamy? You know what, it's actually soft too. I think that purification does something else too. There you go. Okay, before the bonus tip, how about giving me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. It's free, it's actually free. And ring that bell, because then you'll be alerted for my next episode, which is random hacks to make your life easier. And do me a favor, leave me a comment below and give me some tips on what you would like to see in future episodes. Okie dokie, bonus tip. Here's your bonus tip. Now, when you run out of your soap, what are you gonna do? Who the heck feels like going and making another batch up? So well, all you have to do is make double batches and I have mine in a mason jar and I make at least two batches 
and I put them in here. So when I run out, I just fill them up. There you go. Thanks everybody for staying till the very end. I appreciate it. And please come back soon and subscribe and see ya.